Well, you may or may not realize this week is set aside nationally to recognize and celebrate and lift neurodiverse voices. And we have a program gaining popularity right here in the Twin Cities that's not only benefiting neurodiverse students in a big way, but their peers as well. Kent Erdahl shows us how and why it's working. Even on the snowiest of school days. What's up, Ian? There is a warmth. How's it going? Good. That What's radiates that? beyond the walls of Edina's Southview Middle School. Are you ready for school today? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's go inside. It's cold. Students here have been shattering perceptions about friendship and special education for the last nine years, thanks to a partnership with Special Olympics Minnesota and a spark. All right, guys, come on up. Provided by Jenny Schaefer. We want to lead by example, right? Back when it began, Edina Unified looked a lot like this, a morning gathering bringing together special education students like Ian O'Brien with his typical peers. And that proved so popular that it led to unified flex periods within special education. It's like a free period and you kind of help with the class. Like it's almost like you're a teacher's assistant, but like it's more than that, like you're here to build connections. Hi Ian, what do you want today? And in the process, Ted Salmon and the other 180 student leaders here you go, sir. are building a program that now extends throughout the school thanks to unified electives. Combined classes that range from music to PE and everything in between. My students are with their neurotypical peers 100% of their day. Everyone gets along. Everyone can be who they want to be. For Ian, oh. the only drawback is remembering everyone. Um, Teddy, um, names. At least by their first names. But they're your what? Friends. Friends that Ian and his family are beyond grateful for. It wasn't something I ever even dreamed of. Anne O'Brien says Unified has changed her son's Life. You always have hopes, like you, you hope your child won't be bullied or, or you hope they'll be a successful student. But for me, Unified has gone way beyond that. He's a part of a community there. He's not just isolated in a separate part of the building with special ed peers. He's a part of the group. And it turns out the joy apple. is mutual. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How'd you know it was an apple? Genius. Genius. <laughs> I love it. This is like what keeps me going to school and like the months in the dead of winter. I had so much fun doing it, and I think it's probably one of my favorite classes. It's my favorite part because in the middle of all the stressful schoolwork, you come here and you hang out with your friends and you have fun, and it's just so stress-free. You get all different kinds of people in here, all different friend groups, all different cliques, and crosses boundaries like that, where you'll be friends with someone who you never thought you'd be friends with through this program. Are we your best friends? Yeah. And in many cases, including Ian's, those friendships now extend far beyond the program and school itself. He's got more friends than I do. He's got more friends than I thought he ever would have. And I think he's gonna make some lifelong friends. Getting the emails from families on the weekends with pictures, like, are you kidding me? I used to tear up all the time. Now I'm just like, this is my why. These kids have so many opportunities and it is because of what has started here. And speaking of that. You are leading this state in inclusion. Nine years after starting a unified pilot program, Southview is now a pilot light, helping Special Olympics Minnesota ignite unified programs in more than 230 schools and counting. Thanks to some inclusive influence. This is like one of like the flash mobs. The entire student body coming together to win a Special Olympics week-long social media challenge. So without further ado, we would like to present Southview Middle School with our Inclusive Schools Week trophy. Congratulations. Consider it the latest example of a place and a program. All right, is everybody ready? That yeah. radiates warmth for all. One, two, three, unified! So many great friendships. Special Olympics Minnesota, by the way, helps provide resources to get these unified programs started in schools across the state. But from there, each school does their own fundraising for things like field trips and other resources to help them grow. Speaking of that, in two weeks, Selfie will hold its annual Polar Plunge fundraiser. And Randy, I told him 
I'm going to jump with the kids. Oh, good for you. So we're going to go out there. We're going to do all that. Are you going to jump? Oh. Right. You're, you're going to do it. If it's 50 or <laughs> higher, maybe. <laughs> I can't that's vouch. Good. good for you. I can't vouch for Randy. Uh, but That's awesome. You're going to be, you're maybe not going to be jumping, but you can give money. People can give money to this jump sure. to Special Olympics Minnesota. We'll have the links yeah. on Carol. I had a sister with special needs, so I know how special that kind of experience can be. So that's pretty cool. It's really cool. Great. Thanks, Kent.